Hi, John Valvano here. In this video, we're going to do steps three, four, and five and get to the point where we're actually running code on the MS uh, PM0. All right, so we're going to uh, download this zip file here. Okay, and here it is, it's coming. Now I've opened up the uh, downloads and I am going to unzip this. But before I unzip it, I want to find a place to put it. Okay, so I've created a place uh, on my drive where I'm going to uh, install the 319K programs. All right. All right, the next step is to unzip, uh, extract these um, programs into that spot. Okay, so I'm going to put them in here in MSPM0 Valvanaware. Okay, extract. There we go. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's extracted. Okay, so there's a lot of projects here, which are example uh, programs for the MSPM0. And the one we're going to do first is this um, Lab 1 for 319K. All right. All right, so next, I'm going to open Code Composer Studio. Now, Code Composer Studio has this uh, concept of a workspace, and I am going to use the um, Valvanaware as my workspace. Okay, so I'm going to browse to that spot, and there it is right there. Okay, so I'm going to choose uh, where I just unzipped it as my workspace. All right. Okay, there are no... Um, <laughs> Uh, projects yet, uh, so we have to uh, import them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go project, import Code Composer Studio projects uh, that are already exist. We're going to browse until we get to the spot where we just um, unzipped. Select that folder, and you'll see these are all projects which can be imported. Now you can import one or all of them. Uh, since we're going to use them all, I'm just going to import them all now in one step. Now we uh, don't copy it, uh, and we are allowed to have, um, and we don't need to reference it. So these two are going to be off. Now, sometimes when this happens, uh, there'll be a whole bunch of X's here, uh, and that's because it didn't find uh, the SDK. So some of you are going to have to open window right here, open the window, go to preferences, uh, click Code Composer Studio products, and then over here in the... Uh, um, in the discovery paths, you're going to have to add uh, the add the location for the uh, SDK. So, okay, SDK, that one there, just like fold. Okay. So, if you have a lot of X's over here where it didn't find the SDK, you're going to have to add that path here. Uh, now, mine happened to have it, and sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not and close okay um, all right so uh, just to make sure things are installed what it, properly I'm going to build this okay I'm gonna build this and see that I have no errors good all right all right good job the next step will be to plug it in and run so this is a very interesting uh, activity that will happen when I plug the board in. Okay, so I've hold in the USB cable, and now I've just plugged it in to a USB port of my computer. And the operating system has now found the board. And what you're going to see is that there are two uh, activities, two uh, devices that we're going to see and use this in this semester. One is the UART, the application user UART, which is going to be on COM port 5. Now yours may be different, uh, but what you want to do is look at which one is the user UART and remember that number, COM port 5. The other one 
is down here under Texas Instruments, you're going to see there is a debug probe and a debug port. Okay, that's how we're going to debug the board. Okay, so we're going to remember it's COM port 5. That's the interesting part. Okay, now the board's plugged in. And so now the next step, I, I've already built it. The next step is to uh, debug it. Right there, you see, debug. Now, debug is the action of erasing the flash, okay, uh, programming the the object code into the flash ROM, and then launching the debugger. Okay. Uh, now, when you do this the first time, you're going to get a prompt to update the firmware. That's totally fine. Uh, new boards on new computers uh, typically will need to have the firmware updated. Uh, just, uh, just select the uh, default and let it happen. All right. Now, in 319K, we're going to use... Uh, you see there are two programs here. Um, this one is your program that you're going to write the answer to lab one, go right there. And the other one is my grader, which is going to call your program to make sure it works. So you edit the assembly code. Uh, you can look at the C code, but just don't edit it. Um, things will go crazy. All right. So uh, in order to... Uh, understand and interact with the uh, with the grader we're going to need a terminal window okay so view this is all the different windows we can have the one we're interested in is called terminal okay terminal okay that's the uart which my program the grader is going to send output to as your program is being graded okay now we're going to have to open a terminal right there now you remember it was a serial terminal, okay? And it was COM port 5, okay? So serial terminal, COM port 5, uh, 115200 baud rate, that should be um, default and correct. Okay, okay, open, okay? Open. All right, now uh, we've downloaded the program and now we can run. Okay, da -da, run, okay, run. Uh, now, not much happens because uh, I didn't edit. I didn't do anything. It says put your EID in. So let's run it one more time. Uh, that is to suspend. This one is to terminate. Your job throughout the first couple of labs is to learn how to debug. And there are a lot of buttons. Uh, but now I just want to make sure your, your installation is proper. So we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to make up an EID. Okay. Uh, a, B, C, one, two, three. Um, you're going to type your EID here as capital letters uh, followed by the numbers in this quote. That's a string. All right. So we're going to again to build it again. Build. See right there. Build, which is compiling, which is converting source code to object code. And then I'm going to push the debug, um, which is erasing the flash ROM, programming the flash ROM, uh, starting the debugger and launching uh, into the program. Now it's not running yet. Okay, again, um, this is the program that uh, you will write here. So, but this time when I run it, okay, again I'm going to push the go button to run it. A lot more stuff happens down here. I'll show you what this was. Select all, uh, copy. Going to open Notepad. and paste and you can see uh, lots of very interesting things here this is essentially your assignment uh, assuming this is the assignment assuming you were student ABC one two three so you're gonna type in your EID get to this spot and you'll see what your assignment is all right so uh, that's it you know it's a happy little program uh, yeah you try it yourself and if you have any trouble come to office hours go see the TA and we'll see you uh, in the next adventure.